Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day five here on the Old Gold Power Plant debut event, and we are hoping to get us a grubbin and hoping that uh, I did not ruin my sleep. I had a very, very, very tough time going to sleep last night. So, yeah, I woke up super late. So we're going to see what happens. We got 40,512 sneaky snacking. You can see I got the Gengar on there. And with Gengar comes 6,666 strength. That makes sense. We also got a small cluster for finishing out our reward stamp. Kind of wish it was a little bit better at the end of the week. But, you know, it is what it is. Can't complain too much, I suppose. We did get 200 sleep points. Puts us at 4,461. And for our daily lottery, hopefully we can pick up something a little bit nice. That 100 diamonds sounds pretty good right about now. Just one small ingredient ticket, though. Not 100 diamonds, but it is pretty good. I will take it, and uh, we do have enough diamonds. Maybe it's worth taking a look at some of these bundles again. Uh, probably just a small bundle. I seem to remember that I was not the biggest fan of these bundles, but I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and collect all of these berries. Let's get the team swapped back in. 124 from Gengar's berries. That's not too bad. Um, and let's go ahead and collect from you. The only one we're not going to collect from is going to be Raichu. He is staying on the team, but I will take those, uh, those candies for free. How much you got? Full inventory? Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Dedenne, give me a double trigger. Come on no nothing at all Ooh, that's bad that's super bad man uh we don't like that okay well uh let's go ahead and switch back over to the main team get them up and running uh not good not good i need to take you off i had you on for a little bit just to get ready for sunday uh let's get back to business with our boy skelly dirge uh i'll throw him on the team for now and then we'll double check everything make sure that he needs to stay on the team but i'm having a hard time remembering where we were at on our apple supply um but for now we'll leave him as is and let's go ahead and jump into this sleep report and see if we somehow manage to get the dozing type and hopefully hopefully find us a good grubbin that's what we really need i did use the grubbin incense last night so should be good. Yeah, 10 hours, 36 minutes of sleep. Mm -hmm, that's bad. Uh, it is a lot of dozing, 15%, but 62% snoozing. <laughs> I guess not only did I have a hard time going to sleep, I did not sleep very well on top of that. So, yay me. Anyway, we should have about 60-something million. About 62-ish, maybe? Yeah. Almost 63, 62.6 million, seven spawns with the grubbin on top of that. So at least we know we're getting one grubbin. I would like to get more than just one grubbin, though. I want to uh, really. I see it. I see it. All right. I was wondering if it was going to happen. I was spoiled on this. Not completely. I still don't know everything about it and all the details, but I was spoiled about the fact that it's in the game. Um, so we are going to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, all right, so we got Diglett, Graveler, Eevee, Aeron, and another Graveler. So five out of eight are old sleep styles. It means we got three new sleep styles. One of them, we already know what it is, uh, but let's go this way. Let's see. Hey, there it is again. All right, we got two of them, I guess. Looping Sleep, the one star. All right, let's see what we got here. Next. Perhaps seeking company, it's often seen approaching children. In rare cases, Drifloon have been spotted holding plush toys while they sleep. Maybe they've mistaken the toys for children. That's kind of creepy. Super creepy. <laughs> mistaking the toys for children is a level of darkness that I didn't know we were capable of getting into in Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> um, come on. Hey, there you are. Adorable little grubbin tunneling sleep oh we got the three star very nice he's all dirty he's all tuckered out all right that's the one we really want all right so we only need the two and the four star okay let's see last drift loon which one is this is this a two star yeah two star floating sleep but we already got two out of the three for drift loon they look super like pastel purple here rather than the normal purple. 
I feel like from my memory, Drifloon is more of a saturated purple. This one seems kind of washed out. Interesting. Okay, well, there's a couple things we care about, one of which is super important. I don't know how important the Drifloon is going to be because I don't know its ingredients. I don't know its specialty. I don't know its... Well, I know the name of its main skill, but I don't know what it does and how good it's going to be. Um, so one of these I do know is going to be very, very necessary for the future of my game because we need those coffees. Um, so let's get them coffee beans. Come on, buddy. All right, and now let's um, let's be silly. Let's try to catch you. We can definitely take at least one of these home today. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I can feel the corruption of the dark side creeping in uh, already. If this guy isn't full, I've been fully corrupted. He's not full. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Still saving my ultra biscuit though i don't know who to use that on who like a hungry onyx would probably be a best case scenario for an ultra biscuit for me or another pokemon that has 16 or more pips to take home i also want to catch this Aaron though mm. so many things that i want to do um i do i need a better Aaron? i got a did i get a decent one i don't remember i don't remember how good the one I, that i caught was I know it was triple A. No, was it? I don't remember. How do I not remember? Um. Hmm. He's not full. I mean, we're we're gonna keep do making dumb decisions as long as they keep letting me. The corruption has set in. Plus, I don't think we have a legendary event coming for hopefully a few more months, so it gives us some time to recuperate. But in the meantime. We're just gonna be kind of goofy and do dumb things. Just a little bit. Come on, come on, buddy. A, a critical capture right here would be fantastic. No, I didn't get any mega hits at all today outside or big hits outside of the, uh, the guaranteed one from the hungry. Hungry? Nobody was hungry. No, 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 I didn't get any big hits today. What am I talking about? Nothing at all. Big day here at the old gold power plant, catching four Pokemon. Um, you know what? With how long it took us to get through the five the other day, we're definitely going to have to uh, do a thing here in a minute. We're going to have to skip all of them, go straight into breakfast, cook that, and then come back and calculate them um, just in case. Because like I said, I did wake up a little bit late. So uh, you can kind of imagine the wall that we're up against right now. Uh, I'm going to send out Grubbin Candy. I don't know how beneficial Drifloon is compared to the others. Um, 5,893 re research XP is very good. 9,353 Dream Shards. Yeah, I don't know if Drifloon is going to be good enough that uh, people are wanting Drifloon Candy over Grubbin Candy at the moment. So I'm just going to send out the Grubbin just to be on the safe side. And if I'm wrong, it's one day of candy. It'll be fine it'll be fine but let's go ahead and get breakfast up and running unfortunately the Dene not getting the triggers means we only have a 25 percent chance of this being extra tasty so let's um let's not put too many uh high level ingredients in there uh we can do the ginger for sure um what else we can do we only need 66 oil for sunday so we can do uh, up to 14 of those yeah 10 is fine 10 is fine we are good there. All right. I mean, an extra tasty would be nice. Nope. One in four. Didn't get it. That's all right. One in four is a whole lot better than one in ten. All right. So 23,084 strength. That is possibly enough. Yeah, that. Ooh. Actually, I don't know. That might push us to Ultra 3. Maybe. Maybe. Mm, probably not. Yeah, no, just shy of Ultra 3. 699,188. Very close. Actually, you know what? Since I know what the news is about, let's go ahead and do the news so that we can kind of have an idea. Uh, mm, no, actually. Yeah, let's do the news. Let's do the news so that we kind of have an idea of what we're looking at. 
new arrivals, Driftloon and Drift Limb. Also, um, an update to the old gold power plant debut. Interesting. Interesting. This is a very backwards way they did it. I I saw people that were catching Driftloon, uh, Driftloon and Driftblim yesterday before the news dropped. So I'm not sure what's going on with select button this time around. I don't know if it was a goof, if they meant to do this. But let's dive into it and see what's up. So here's an opportunity to research Pokemon that appear at the old gold power plant on green grass. Um, okay. Uh, so this is looking like all the same stuff from before. So what's new? Oh, they added Drifloon. Okay. Strange. So Drifloon is slightly greater appearance rate. I guess that's why we saw two of them. Um, is that all they did is they just added Drifloon to the list of old gold power plant Pokemon? Interesting. Uh, okay, so hold on. What I want to know is, uh, okay, so that's still the same. Does Drifloon stay on green grass? Or is Drifloon only old gold power plant? Huh. Because it says it's your opportunity to research Pokemon that appear on the OGPP on green grass, but it only then lists Aaron, Aaron, list? wow, only lists Aaron, Shinx, and Grubbin. And Drifloon was not added to that list. Uh, then it says you can't use the Aaron, Shinx, and Grubbin incense on green grass after October 30th. Um, hmm. I don't see anything about Drifloon on green grass or if it goes away. Interesting. Huh. Okay. If you know the answer to this, let me know in the comments, because uh, this doesn't tell me the answer that I am looking for on if Drifloon is anywhere other than OGPP. Uh, so let's see what it says about Drifloon and Driftblim. Maybe this will actually answer it. There have been reports of Drifloon and Driftblim appearing near certain areas. Maybe this is thanks to the sleep research you've all been conducting. It may be possible to encounter them during sleep research sometime soon, as in yesterday before the news even happened. We hope you're looking forward to this. Uh, starting to appear October 11th at 4 a.m. on Green Grass Isle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that answered that. You can find Driftloon and at Old Gold Power Plant, you can find both Driftloon and Drift Blim. They are both on dozing and their main skill, Stockpile. This is what I knew, Stockpile. Stockpile Charge Strength S. I didn't know that part. I only knew the Stockpile part of it. Uh, either Stockpile or sp Spit Up? Is that meant to be Split Up? Either Stockpile or... I'm just going to read it as if it's correct. Either Stockpile or Spit Up triggers selected randomly. The more time stockpile triggers in a row, the greater the effect of the next spit up. Okay, so spit up does sound right. It sounds gross, but right. When spit up triggers, Snorlax gains strength according to the number of times stockpile was triggered. Ooh, this is very interesting. This is a very interesting way to break up a, a skill. Ooh. After spit up triggers, stockpile's number resets. Stockpile's number is counted separately for each Pokemon, which makes sense. If a Pokemon with stockpile is removed from your team, its stockpile number resets. Okay, that also makes sense because the skill triggers go away if you change anybody. Um, interesting. Oh, I like this idea. This is not something I would have thought of for uh, a main skill where it has one effect and then another based on uh, what the RNG rolls. That's very interesting. I like this idea. Okay. All right. I see what you're doing, select button. I like it. I like this one. We're going to see how good that is in practicality. I'm hoping they've figured out some numbers already. But let's go ahead and grab our community reports while we're here. We've got 49 of them. All right. So apparently Drifloon brought everybody back to the game with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's only 10 that doubled up out of 49. That's bad odds for me. It's only about 20%. That's that's rough. But no level ups today. That's all right. That's all right. We got plenty of exciting news going on. All right. Let's jump in and see what is going on with these Pokemon that we caught. 
Um, of course, first up, I want to check out that grubbin. That is the main thing that I am concerned with right now. We got an okay grubbin before, but not as good as I wanted it to be. All right. Oh, we got the coffee beans. All right. All right. Sorry. Mm. Chill out. Calm down. Let's see if the skills are what we need. Ooh, let's skill trigger. Ingredient finder. Ooh, this is not terrible. This is not terrible. We already got ingredient finder. That's a huge first step. Huge first step. Okay. Inventory up. Helping speed. Ooh, we're getting better. They're all white. Um, uh, but uh that's uh that's something we can work with. We can we can make the uh we can it we can make it work. Oh, it's not ingredient finding up or down though, so that's good. At least it's not ingredient finding down. That would be the worst. Um, ah, uh, mm, we can make this work. We can make this work. Ingredient count A. Uh, you know what? Let's just save this one because we know we're keeping this one for sure. So let's save it. Let's check it out as a Vika Volt. Uh, ingredient count A. Hasty is actually going to help kind of substan substantially if this is the one we're going to go with because that means it's just that much easier to get to level 25 and 50 and eventually 75 for that helping speed. This is a grubbin that starts out kind of okay and just gets better and better over time. We would like to see one that is just better at the start, but honestly... With how the odds work out of trying to catch something that is going to work perfectly from the beginning, this is actually not bad. It's not the best that we could find. Ideally, we want ingredient finding S and M at level 10 and 25 instead of that skill trigger S and an ingredient finding nature. But this is not terrible. We can definitely make this work. I do want to keep catching some more and see what we can find. But potentially, this could be our guy. Uh, let's see at level let's go to level 30 how are we looking uh, 50 a day 50 a day is not bad but it's not enough for the defiant salad three times in one day so we'd have to plan ahead for that um, however at 60 a day if we get him to that point 71 a day but the best is 125 mm. that's a big jump from 50 to 71 I mean, we could invest in it and get that ingredient finder S and potentially higher inventory up. Could make this even better. Could. Yeah, that's even a sharp jump there. 82 versus 50. Hmm. Okay. So funny enough. An AAB or AAC. Grubbin actually performs better could potentially perform better than this triple A at level 30 uh, with the right sub skills. We don't want that necessarily, but just an interesting little side note. However, this one is not bad. Oh, we're done already, 77 PR. Yeah, this is not bad. We can definitely make this work. Let's see how it looks if we replace just a couple of them. Let's, uh, if we get lucky, let's say we get, get very lucky, get ingredient finder M, how much of a difference does that make at level 30? Um, actually, not much. Not much of a difference. I feel like those are the exact same numbers. Which that shouldn't be. Shouldn't be the same numbers. Unless the inventory is holding it back. Yeah, I mean, carry limit is pretty low. It is a very, very low carry limit. Let's see. That made a difference at level 60. After the inventory up kicks in. But even with the carry limit, no, the carry limit is 29. Hmm. But that doesn't seem like it changed at all. Still 57, and I'm pretty sure that was pretty close to what it was before, if not the exact same. That's not a huge difference. Uh-oh. I mean, it does make a big difference in its overall grade. We're already from 77 to 84. What if we get get very lucky and instead of inventory up s we get inventory up l um probably not gonna make a difference here yeah still 57 still 57 but at level 60 
87. Mm. I mean, it's better. Still not quite what we want, though. I mean, that's still almost 40 less per day. But it is very usable. Don't get me wrong. This one's very usable. I'm just trying to get a feel for what it's actually going to look like. Just so that we know if we do catch another one and it is AAA, what we're looking at comparing it against. But honestly, I'm fairly happy with this one. I don't hate this one. I think it can definitely work. The XP gains is going to help us uh, get higher levels very quickly. I think the only concern that I really have is that it's not enough for the Defiant Coffee Dress Salad. But does it need to be all the time necessarily? Maybe not. Because we can really only make that on Sundays unless we plan around uh, a team around having a pot expander. It's definitely enough for Hidden Power Perk Up Stew for those Sundays where we have curries. It's plenty for the spiced cola um, if we just had the leeks to go along with it. Um, it's more than enough for the early bird coffee jelly, but we'd only need to make that once just for the diamonds and the same with the Dizzy Punch Spicy Curry. We'd only need to make that once. So really the only one that would cause us issues would be the Defiant Coffee Dress Salad. And we would just have to plan around that, but we could really only make that on Sundays anyway, so we could definitely work around it. So it's not the end of the world that it doesn't give us enough in one day for this. Plus, it might actually give us enough for in one day if we have a healer on the team that keeps its energy high and we get some good rolls. It could give us enough in a day. It's not too short. Uh, 28, 28 is 56, plus another 28 would be 84. And this one's bringing in 70 something, I think, without any investments at level 60. So maybe, but 60 is a long ways away. I don't know. Either way, like I said, I'm happy with this one. It was a 77. It's triple A. No helping bonus or berry finding. So that is unfortunate, but at least we got something that we can work with. And that is the important part. We've finally got something we can work with. We just have to. Uh... Did I hit the wrong button? No, there we go. It just took it a minute. OK, so we got something we can work with. It'll be pretty good as a Vika Volt. I'm happy with it. Actually, uh, the one thing I wanted to check. I did check that 87. OK. Uh, and it looks like it still is getting only around 86 PR. So it's not bad. Not bad. We can definitely make it work. All right. Let's see what was up next. We had two drift loons. Uh, let's just go with this first one and let's see what we've got going on here. Drift loon. Where are you at? Um, da, da, da. there you are. And there's drift blim 42 candies already. Nice. All right. So you are a skill specialist makes sense given the new skill with corn oil corn i'm okay with that and it's also got potatoes as its last ingredient not too bad at all not bad at all not a bad spread so we've got stockpile let's see if it gives us some numbers okay so either stockpile or spit up is selected when spit up triggers snorlax gains strength according to the number of times stockpile was triggered after spit up triggers uh stockpiles number resets makes sense depending on the number of times stockpile has triggered snorlax will gain the following amount of strength cool uh okay so this is level one so let's go ahead and look at level two because uh we're almost certainly going to evolve it at some point um even even just a couple of stockpiles is well above well above what a charge strength does let's see let's compare this real fast let's go to main skills where are you at um do, do, do. what am i mission oh it's its own tab i think let's see there it is yep Let's go check out main skills, charge strength. Uh, let's just look at charge strength M because that's guaranteed. Um, most of us without putting main skill seeds are only going to be at level three to five. But even at five, it's 3290 with um, three stockpiles. You're looking at 2900 and this is only a level two. Um, and at four, it's at 3,700. But what if we, let's say we get a skill level up M. 
on a drift loon. Yeah. One stockpile is at 2700. And then this is at 3290 at level five. So this definitely seems like it's going to outperform charge strength S for sure. And charge strength M depends on what charge strength M Pokemon you have and how often they trigger. Also depends on the trigger rate from Drifloon. So we'd have to double check that. Uh, what if we max this out? It starts out with level seven already unlocked. Yikes. Look at that. 10 times. If you get lucky enough to stockpile 10 times, 82,386. That's insanely good. But even if you only get, even if you get no stockpiles, 4,500, which is what charge strength M is at level six. One stockpile gives you 7,653 outperforming a level seven charge strength M. Now, granted, you do need to get two triggers for that, but you also got to take that into account. If you can get two triggers of charge strength M in the same amount of time, it takes you to get one stockpile and then a spit up, then it's not actually outperforming charge strength M, but theoretically it could outperform. What we need is somebody to sit down and take notes on how many times an Ampharos, for example, triggered with charge strength M, or I guess technically, uh, pseudo Udo, how many times with charge strength M versus how many times we got stockpile versus spit up on a drift blim. Um, that'll be an interesting thing to figure out. We definitely need to figure out which one's going to be better. Um, I think stockpile has the potential to be better in the long run, but it's a gamble. It's kind of a high risk, high reward kind of thing is kind of what I'm feeling from it. But, uh, yeah, this is very interesting. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and check out this drift blim. Drift Loon, I keep saying the wrong one, and let's see how good this is. So far, we're starting off pretty decently. Unfortunately, I mean, unfortunately, Skill Trigger is all the way at level 75, but at least we got everything we want, just not in the right order. Ingredient Finder S is the only thing we don't care about here, and that's at level 100, so that's not that big a deal. What about our nature? Ooh, awful, terrible. We hate this. We don't want it at all. You know what? Let's just see how bad it is. It's gonna be terrible. Not as bad as I thought. Certainly, certainly not as bad as a certain Pokemon from yesterday who will remain nameless, but not bad is what I would say if it didn't have that nature. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be for sure. We're gonna go ahead and move on. We don't want this one. We're, uh, we're gonna move on. You know what? I'm just gonna send this to the professor. We don't want this one. No, this one's not for us. Let's do another one. Drifloon, number two. Same ingredient spread, so, somehow, but okay. Uh, let's reset these sub skills and let's see what we've got going on. Um, uh, not looking any better. Ingredient Finder S, um... Uh, Inventory up S. Uh, helping speed. Yeah, this is not any better. Ingredient finder M. This is actually worse. Ingredient finding day. Yeah, no, we don't want either of these. We're just going to have to catch another one. We're going to have to catch another one. That's all it is. These both are terrible. Terrible for what we need. But now we know we should catch one. I'm kind of excited for how this is going to change the game. Awful. Super awful. Nothing is helpful here except for helping speed S at level 75 and the inventory up at level 50. Terrible. Send it to the professor. Get rid of it. We're going to find a better one. They seem to be showing up a lot. I imagine we're going to see so many more uh, these this next week and a half. So we're going to go ahead and send you to the professor too because we already know about you. Uh, and let's go ahead and check on the Aeron. Oh no. Which one was new? Uh, oh, we got a B squared and a cubed. Uh, not bad, but which one of you is the new one? Drifloon, terrible. All right. I think maybe you, uh, no, it's not you, but, uh, let's go ahead and send you to the professor. That's, that's, that's awful. We don't want that at all. All right. What about you, Aaron? How are you looking? I mean, this could be good. This could be good. A, B squared is not bad necessarily. But let's see. Let's see how we're looking on the skills. 
Sleep XP bonus, not the best, but also not the worst. It's actually a sub skill I'm kind of liking more and more. Uh, ingredient Finder S is good. We do want that. Inventory up S, also very good. Dream Shard bonus. Mm, I'd rather have that at level 10 instead of Sleep XP bonus, but it is what it is. Uh, and Inventory up M. Okay. Hmm. Depends on the nature. Let's see what we get. Yikes. Uber yikes. That's bad. That is very, very bad. Ingredient count B, because the only thing we want out of this is, uh... The only thing we want out of this is coffee beans, not sausage. We already have a pretty good Charizard, and we have a pretty good uh, A-cubed Aeron. So we don't care about the sausage. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought speed of help down was really, really going to hurt this thing. But apparently not. Apparently not. Wow. Wow. Huh. I am very confused. Very confused. Like I said, I thought it was really going to hurt this one. I'm going to save this. Let's save this. Okay, let's save this. Let's do a thing. Let's say you're an Agron. Let's make sure we get the ingredients right. Ingredient count B. Interesting. Really? That nature does not matter that much? Bold nature? Yeah, I picked the right one. Huh. Well, I'm just at a loss on this one. I'm very surprised the speed of help did not hurt it more. Like, I don't think it would necessarily bring it down to a 10 PR, but I'm very surprised that it's this high. I feel like I say this a lot with ingredient finders, but I'm very surprised to see it so highly rated without helping bonus, no helping speed at all, just speed of help down interesting okay so how many coffee beans are we getting at level 30 28 huh and then it's 60 53 yeah that's awful we don't like that i mean our grubbin is outperforming this why is it rated so high that's so confusing that's so confusing Hmm. I think we're just going to keep this guy as a backup to Grubbin. Maybe. Maybe we use him and Grubbin on the same team just to double up on coffee beans and try to just get the amount we need that much faster. What's the other one? Yeah, that's that's triple A. That's ABB. Yeah, no. Why would we do that? Yeah, this one's so much better. Right? If we just put some sub seeds in the inventory up, I think this one's better. Let's let this one run so we can see the final calculation. Oh, it's taking forever. It's taking forever. Um, level 100, zero, it hasn't even shown mine yet. Mm, I mean, potentially 120 coffee beans at level 100 with some good stuff, but only 62 with ours. Nope, that's not even ours. That's not ours. Where is ours? Why are you showing me everything but mine? Okay, well, huh. It does look like it's going to settle out around 88. But this one's 90 with, in my opinion, better sub skills. Better, 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 better sub skills. 
um so yeah i'm gonna assume this one's gonna settle out around 88 but it's taking too long and i really want to look at the other one again um Actually, you know what? Let's let that continue to run. We'll go to uh, production comparison. We'll check that out. We have them both saved, so that'll make this easy. Let's, uh, where's steel type? There it is. Um, you versus you. Cool. Expand all. This is the one I think is going to be the better out of the two. But let's make it an agron and let's... Let's say we only drop one subseed in it. And then you as an Agron with just to be fair, one subseed there at ingredient finder M. And, wow. I mean, I suppose that does make sense. I suppose that does make sense. It's only 1.36 more uh, coffee beans per day but ingredient finder does make a lot of sense let's go to level 60 and see what we're looking at come on level 60 there we go i mean about the same difference 1.3 but the only difference is the other agron has berry finding so that's giving us extra strength the entire way um what if we make this inventory up l slightly outperforms so they actually perform about the same in terms of the amount of coffee beans they bring in to the point where i'm not gonna miss out on it by not getting one coffee bean per day so i think we keep the one that has berry finding because that's only two subskill three subskill seeds eventually gets ingredient finder in three and a half years whenever we finally get level 100 Let's just see. Yeah, it does outperform it in the long run by a wider margin. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with the quiet one. The quiet one, I think, makes more sense. Let's go see what that one finished out at. Still hasn't finished. We're going to call that 88. I'm going to hold on to it for now. Just for now. But I'm thinking we're going with the uh, the quiet one over the bold one. That one seems to make more sense in the long run. Yeah, because we couldn't even subskill seed that inventory up S until level 100. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the quiet one, but I'm going to hold on to him. I'm going to think about this one a little bit more. But we're going to stick right there where we're at. I'm going to let that one finish out. It's looking like 88. Yeah, it's 88. Okay. Well, with all of that fun stuff out of the way, let's go check and see if there's anything else we need to know about Drifloon and Driftblim uh, other than what we've already figured out on our own. It is skill specialist, stockpile, 13.7 um, ingredient rate. 13.7% ingredient rate is actually, that sounds about right for a skill specialist. However, 6.9% skill trigger rate is very, very good. That's a high skill trigger rate for, uh, even for a skill specialist. So that's very good. That means potentially we're getting a few skill triggers per day, but I'm wondering, do we know what the split is on what are the odds of getting stockpile versus or not stockpile? Yeah, stockpile versus spit up. Um, do we know what that difference is? Let's click on it. Let's see. It looks like we don't have any numbers on which one it's going to be. So we don't know if it's like a 50 50 chance. We don't know if it's a 60 40 chance. At least not from what I'm seeing here. Maybe it's been figured out by other people. Maybe they've got a rough idea of what it's going to be. But for now, I don't see anything that tells me one way or the other. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, only level 40 candies and it evolves at level 21. That's pretty easy to get a drift blimp. So yeah, pretty much no one is going to have a level one stockpile. 
Uh, so that's good because level two is still pretty good. Yeah, it really depends on what the split is going to be. If it's 50 50 stockpile spit up or if it's 70 30. I mean, I imagine probably best case scenario is 50 50, but it's probably more in the line of uh, probably more like 60 40 spit up versus stockpile. I feel like they don't want us to uh, stockpile too much. So spit up is probably more likely or they did a tiered system where, uh, you know, maybe you got a high chance of getting stockpile the first time around, slightly lower chance of getting stockpile a second time. And the chances of getting stockpile just go lower and lower the more stockpiles you get. That's probably what they did. But until we have numbers, we just can't be sure. Um, but it is going to be very interesting. Like I said earlier, this kind of a skill is something I never would have thought of that they could do. It's very interesting, a very interesting change to the game. I'm very excited to see how it pans out. And really, this gets me excited for the ideas of other main skills that are kind of outside of the box that we are just not thinking of. That's really, I think, the most exciting part about this is that not only not only can this main skill change things quite substantially and maybe bring Drifloon into the meta uh, pretty quickly, but also what does it mean for skills in the future that's the big question but we'll just have to wait and see for now let's double check how we're looking we definitely need more honey uh we need more apples for sure i'm glad we got skeleturge on the team looks like we are about to swap out raichu for venusaur get some ingredients for the rest of the day i didn't think that we'd uh swap out raichu but we definitely need to don't want to run out of honey and honey is one of those things that sometimes is just very hard to get. So let's get Venusaur on the team, get that honey up and running. And uh, we are looking for this guy right here, our double honey boy. And we should be good to go. But yeah, very exciting things today. This episode uh, is very, very crazy, very all over the place, but I like it. I like the energy we had going on today. Drift, Driftloon just dropping the way it did. Very, very interesting, but very excited for what this means moving forward. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up there before I ramble on. Y'all let me know what you think about everything that happened in today's video in the comments below. It was a wild one, but we're going to leave it there. We're probably going to hit Ultra 3 in about two seconds. So I'm going to wrap it up there. There it is. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy these videos. A huge shout out to our ace trainers, Illusion, JP, YT, and Husky Star. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and click that join button right next to the subscribe button and get early access to the videos every day. And while you're down there, click on the Discord in the description box and come and join us. Talk about Pokemon Sleep and everything related to what just happened with this wild and craziness. Other than that, y'all have a good night. Good luck on your hunts. And until next time... Later, dudes.